I was in the middle of a very important shoot and my camera broke. Here's what happened. Alright, so I'll set the scene. I was at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for an IndyCar test. I had my D610 on my 302.8. I had my 750 on my 70 to 200. At 8 a.m. there was a photo shoot on pit lane with the cars and the drivers, and my bodies and lenses all worked fine. I took a ton of shots. There was no issues at all. There was a little bit of a break after that. Then at 9 a.m. the cars hit the track, and that's when I had an issue. So the cars will leave their pit and then drive down pit lane, and that's where I was at the very end of pit lane, right where the car exits pit lane itself and then drives up onto the track. I was quite a distance away, so I whipped out my 302.8, which was on my D610. I took one shot and something didn't sound right. Whenever you take thousands and thousands of pictures with cameras, you realize when stuff doesn't sound right, and this one did not sound right at all. The car was coming at me pretty quick, so I didn't have time to look into the issue then, so I just put that camera down, whipped out my other one, my D750 with my 7200, and I took some shots then. I waited until he was exit onto the, onto the track and around to where he wasn't in my view anymore. I couldn't take any pictures. That's when I looked into the issue. I went ahead and shimped and looked at the picture on the screen, and I'll show it here. As you can see, it's like 98% all black. There's a little bit of picture that process at the very top, but other than that, it's all black. Obviously not usable. Obviously something went wrong. I went ahead and tried to take another picture, and again, it didn't sound right. You could tell there was some mechanisms in there working. Others obviously weren't because the picture was not being processed. At this point, you just have to take the camera and set it aside um, for a couple reasons. One, I don't have the tools to work on it. As you know, inside of a camera can be super, super precise and has to be super clean. You can't just get in there with your fingers, with your oils on your fingers, and start screwing around with stuff. That's not the answer at all. And then number two, the test was still going on. Just because I had an issue with one of my cameras doesn't mean that they're going to stop the test. So I still had a job to do. I had to keep taking pictures. Luckily, I had a few other bodies um, to use, and I got my job done. Fast forward a few hours, the test is over, I have all my gear packed up, and at this point all I can think about is my broken camera. I have about 125,000 or so uh, picture shutters on the, on the D610, so I thought there was a fairly good chance um, that the shutter had broken. It's rated to about 150,000, but that doesn't mean they all get there. They can fail at any point. 100,000, 125, they can fail at 200,000, you just never know. Finally, I get home, put up all my equipment, get out my D610, and the first thing I do is go get the tool set and start looking at the camera to see what the issue is. So I take off the front cap of the camera, and I hit the shutter, and I see that the aperture lever moves up and down, which is a good sign. Uh, the mirror just isn't lifting. I've had an issue in the past where the mirror gets stuck. So I got out a little screwdriver, lifted it up, and saw, hit it again, hit the shutter again, and saw that the shutter was working. So the shutter didn't fail, it looked fine. The shutter wasn't the problem, the mirror was just stuck. It hasn't happened to me in a long time, but my mirrors have stuck in the past, and I knew it was a fairly easy and very fixable problem. So here's how I did it. Okay, so here's my D610, the body that I was having issues with, and the problem was whenever I would hit the shutter button up here, the aperture lever would move up and down, just like it's supposed to whenever you hit the shutter. Just like that. The problem was the mirror wasn't moving. So whenever the mirror doesn't move, it doesn't allow the photo, the picture, the scene that you're taking to be able to get to the sensor. That's obviously a problem. You can't take pictures that way. What was happening is the mirror, for some reason, on this side of the camera, so as we're looking at it to the right, it was getting stuck up up along that side there. And this has happened to me a couple times, so it's a fairly easy fix. All you have to do is be, you have to be extremely careful with this, is you can use anything that won't leave debris. Like here I'm using just a really small screwdriver. And I try not to actually touch the mirror itself, just touch the sidewall in there. And just kind of push it away, push it to the side, and if you can, with a small um, screwdriver like this, actually get it in between the mirror and the wall, and kind of pry just a little bit, not very much, just enough to move it out, like so. And then when you do that, try hitting the shutter again, and it moves up and down, like so. Try it yourself, and if it works, then you should be good to go. If not, you can try prying a little bit more. Um, if it gets too hard, then I would think think about sending it in because the last thing you want to do is break the mirror or do worse damage than that. So just to show you up underneath of the mirror here by carefully lifting up, 
Back there is the shutter, and then beyond that is the sensor that is going to be reading uh, the picture, the picture that you're trying to make, you're trying to develop. Well, that's about it. I hope you got a little something out of it. If you have any questions, you can comment below or you can message me. As always, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.